In this video, we're going to talk about Texas rigging your baits, including pegging. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you where to do it. I'm going to show you when to do it. And I'm going to tell you why you should be doing it because it flat out catches fish. It's simple. It's awesome. And let's go. So before we get into it, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you're new and you're subbing, please comment below and tell me that you subbed. I'd like to welcome you to the team and just say hello. But here we go, Texas rigging soft plastics. If you want to be more productive catching bass or predator fish, Texas rigging a soft plastic is essential to be good at, and it's one of the best ways to catch them. It's easy and it's simple. Once you get the basics down, you're going to catch more fish. The basics behind a Texas rig is that you have your bullet weight, and your line goes through it, and then you tie on either a straight shank hook or I like to use an EWG hook. Depending on what bait size you're using, you're gonna use three, four, five odd in most cases, and you're gonna use your favorite knot to tie that line to your, to your hook. In my case, I use a lot of Palomars. I, I believe in the Palomar and I'm confident with it and it just works for me. Now your weight, your bullet weight, will depend on what you're doing. If you're punching through, punching or flipping through a lot of heavy cover, you're gonna want something a little bit heavier in that half ounce one ounce size, even sometimes heavier. But if you just want to be finessey and just go after fish, you can put a bullet weight on that's one eighth to one quarter ounce. There's a couple hidden things that you should do, and that's what we're going to talk about a lot in this video. We haven't really talked about weights, but majority of the time I'm using a quarter ounce weight. I'm not really a big person on the color of the weight being a big difference and if I'm gonna use it or not, I kind of just go with whatever is the least expensive. Um, I've got black ones, I've got green ones, I've got silver ones. In my opinion, the color doesn't make too big of a difference. In my opinion, it doesn't make any difference. But there are people that'll tell you that certain water clarity colors, deeper, if it's dirty, a darker one will be a little bit better. If it's clearer water, you want something more natural, and I understand that. The reason behind Texas rigging is so that you can use creature baits or worm baits and have them weedless, any soft plastic you can use. This gives a different presentation in the water because that bullet weight is going to pull that weight, that bait down, and then as it hits the seafloor, you can work it several different ways. So in my case, I don't peg my bait, my weight at all. There's times when I think you, I believe you should. There's some pros and cons to not having it pegged. In my opinion, I think the bait will float a little bit smoother and a little bit more creatively and have more wiggle with the weight moving up the line a little bit. But at the same time, you'll get some, some sometimes when you cast, you'll get that helicopter. And that's a little awkward and it makes, it doesn't make casting tough, but it doesn't give you the distance that you want. The, the way to get around that is making very uh, fluid casts so that that weight doesn't fly up the line as you're casting. When it hits the water, let it sink, and then that twitch is going to get you uh, get your bites. I either twitch it or I will just slowly move it sidearm to let that bait bounce on the bottom. It lets a little puff of dirt happen, and that's always a good way to entice bass or tell bass where your bait is. But pegging is very important too. If you're in really thick grass and you want that bait to come through the grass, you will peg your weight. A peg is just a little stopper that you put on before you put your weight and that you will let you put that, that bullet weight snug to your hook. The reason you do that is that a lot of times if you have thick grass, that weight will go through, but because that line is slack, that bait, the bait will stay up here. The weight will go through, but the bait won't make it through there. So pegging your bait will allow it to come through heavy cover a lot better. So what and why would you have a Texas rig on with your soft plastic? Well, there's many different ways to fish it. You can fish it, drag it, you can fish it, bouncing it, you can fish it in the heavy cover. You can do all sorts of things that will, that bass are going to hide in, you can get that bait in. If they can see your bait and they can sense it, or feel it, they're gonna come over and get a reaction strike. And it's a great way to catch fish year round. 
One problem I see with a lot of anglers that are Texas ring is they do the same thing constantly. Truth be told, I'm always bouncing my bait off the bottom. But there are times that I need to vary the speed or the retrieval while I'm fishing. If I'm finding that it's a little slow, I'm going to slow down a little bit more if the bites are slow. If I feel it's the middle of summer, I know that the fish are actively targeting anything they can eat. So a little bit faster bounce or maybe even a double twitch of the rod will do it or dragging it across the seafloor. Varying up the retrieval speed and what you're doing is crucial to finding out where they're tar what the bass are targeting. And once you figure that out, then you need to just stick to that pattern and just pound them. In my opinion, dragging the bottom is very successful. However, I think that rod twitch and letting that bait bounce off the bottom and letting it sit and hopefully using some sort of uh, worm or crayfish or crawfish, whatever you want to call it, that has a little bit of buoyancy in either their arms or that tail will be very beneficial for you to catch more fish. I like to use the DOA worm because I like the tail to float upwards. That's the truth. Uh, there's other soft, uh, soft plastic creature baits that when they hit the when they hit the floor, those claws will spread out and go up. That's very important for the bass. That gives the bass a little bit bigger presence to know where it is. And, and in the soft creature thing, it looks like that is a defensive posture of a crawfish and that bass is going to eat it just because it doesn't want that crawfish around. I believe Texas rigging a worm is one of the most successful ways to catch fish. Is it boring? Yes, there are times it's really boring. But in those tough, crucial times where you're not getting bites, it's a good bait or good way to fish to catch more fish. Truth be told, the first bait I usually use is the eight inch DOA worm on a edge line. I go fish, I put a Texas rig on and I work that edge with the first couple casts as soon as I get there, if it's a new place. I then switch over to a wacky rigged or Nico rigged after that and then move my way through the baits I feel confident in. And really, Texas ring of soft plastic at first is not, you're not gonna be confident with in it because it is slow and methodical. But the more you do it, the better you'll be at it and that will give you confidence in what is arguably one of the best ways to catch bass out there. The Texas rig is really that good. Now you can find the worm that you want or the soft plastic that you want, but in my case, there's just a few that I use because I'm confident in them and I know they catch fish. So I think you should get out there and Texas rig your next soft plastic or worm or whatever it is and see how it is, but be patient with it and learn. Not every time you're gonna get a bite, but if you learn it properly and learn where you should be fishing this, such as grasses and edges and things like that, you're gonna catch more fish. We talked about the who, and that's the Texas rig. We talked about the what, how to, how to rig it. We talked about where, just there, where you should fish it. Fish it in that grass, fish it on those edges. You can fish it in deep spots, especially if you're up north, those deep pockets. Fish it up in those as it gets Winter, we get past the winter and we get into early spring. It's a great bait to catch giant bass. Honestly, the biggest bass I've ever caught has always been on a Texas rig. Truth. The biggest ones I've ever caught have been on a Texas rig. It's that good. So we talked about the who, what, where, when, and why. Now you just got to go out there and do it. So go out there. Texas rig that worm with soft plastic. Send me an email and tell me how it works. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Hopefully you're out there fishing more and catching them on the Texas rig. Tell me what you think of the video. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Texas rig them. They're bigger and better in Texas. That's what they say. Cheers, tight lines.